16.4b, graphing a parabola by finding the coordinate of the vertex point. The most important point on a parabola is the vertex point. To find the coordinate, to find the x coordinate of the vertex point of the parabola, we can use this formula, x is equal to negative b over 2a. Then to find the y coordinate of the, of the vertex point, we substitute what we just got for x into the quadratic equation and that will give us the y coordinate. And then we can place that vertex point in the middle of our t table and then pick values on either side in order to um, find more points on the parabola. So let's do that with this quadratic equation. So we have this quadratic equation, y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. We're going to find the, y, uh, the x value by plugging it into this equation. All right, so if you'll remember, all quadratic equations can be written in this form, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so my b in this equation is negative 6. All right, so let me plug this into this formula. All right, so I have a negative b, so that's negative, and my b here is negative 6. over 2 <clears throat> times a, which in this equation is an understood 1. Well, a negative, neg negative 6 would be positive 6, and 2 times 1 is 2, so this gives me 3. So my x value of my, the x coordinate of my per um, vertex <laughs> is 3. Now to find the y value, I'm going to plug it into our quadratic equation. So if I plug in 3, every place that I see an x, that's going to give me what the y is. Alright, and then we just need to simplify this. 3 squared is 9. Negative 6 times 3 would be a negative 18 plus 8. Okay, so if I um, negative uh, 9 minus 18 would give me a negative 9, and negative 9 plus 8 would be a negative 1. All right, so now we're going to write... Um, the coordinates in the middle of our t-table. So my x is 3, my y is negative 1. Now the reason why we want to do this, the reason why we want to find where the vertex is, we don't want to just start plugging values in to our um, equation because say for example, that's not a very straight line, but say if my parabola is over here somewhere, if I just start plugging in values like 0, 1, 2, well, I'm going to get, I mean, the parabola keeps going forever, but it's going to be way, way up here where it's way off of my graph. So if I find where my vertex is and I just pick points on either side, that's going to give me the information that I need to be able to graph my parabola. So now that I know where my vertex is, which is not what it looks like on this graph, um, I can pick points above and below uh, or to the left and to the right of that value. Okay, so I'm going to um, fill in numbers. So I have 3, I'm going to do 2, 1, 0, and 4, 5, 6. Okay, now um, I'm going to fill in my y values and I do that by plugging in the x values into my quadratic equation. Now, if you'll remember, in the last lesson, we learned that uh, the vertex is the only one that doesn't have a buddy. But whatever values we have for y on one side of the vertex, there's going to be a buddy on the other side of the vertex. So whatever values we have, we can find these values, and they would be the same as these values, or vice versa. I'm going to go with the smaller numbers, and once I find the y value that matches up with 2 is going to be the same as the one that matches up with 4. So we really only have to find half of 
these values. Okay, so if I take my quadratic equation and I plug in 2 for x. I get 4 minus 12 plus 8. Okay, so 4 minus 12, that would be a negative 8 plus 8. All right. Which would be 0. Okay, so 0 goes here. And then that means that zero would also go here because that's the buddy. Now let's plug in one. And just remember, anytime you're plugging values into an, uh, an equation, especially if they're negative, make sure that you put them in parentheses. If this were a negative one, that negative one would be in parentheses and then it would be squared. Um, since that's not negative, we don't have to worry about it. 1 squared is 1. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. All right, and then we get 1 minus 6, which is negative 5, plus 8, which would be a positive 3. Okay, so this is 3, so that means this would also be 3. All right, we have one more. This one's easy because it's 0. So since this is 0, negative 6 times 0 is 0, all I'm left with is 8. And that would go in both of these spots. Now let's plot the points um, on the graph. All right, so my vertex is at 3, negative 1. 3, negative 1. Okay, and then I had 2, 0. 0 and 4 0. Let's see what another one is. 2 0 and 4 0. 1 3 and 5 3. And then the last two are 0 8 and 6 8. 0 8 six, eight. So those are my points and when I connect them I have my parabola. Okay now we're going to label the parts of the parabola. The coordinates of the vertex point, this lowest point right here, is three negative one. The equation of the axis of symmetry is always x equals x equals whatever the x value is in the vertex. So in this case, it would be x equals 3. The coordinate of the y-intercept. Okay, here's where it's crossing the y-axis, and that would be at 0, 8. All right, and then the coordinate the coordinate or the coordinates of the x-intercept or intercepts, we have two here, and they are at 2, 0, and 4, 0. All right, let's try another one. Here we have this quadratic equation. And the first thing we need to do is find the vertex, and we can find the x-coordinate of the vertex by using x is equal to negative b over 2a. All right, so my b in this equation is 4. And I would plug it in, so negative 4 divided by 2 times a. My a in this equation is negative 1. So that would give me negative 4 over negative 2 which would be a positive 2. Now to get the y value of my vertex, I'm going to plug 2 into the equation. y is equal to negative, I'm plugging in 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 4. Okay, so 
this negative is not in parentheses. <clears throat> that's why I didn't put it in the parentheses when I wrote it here. The only thing that's being squared is the 2. So 2 squared is 4, and I have the negative in front. So that's negative 4 plus 8 minus 4. All right, well, negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4, and positive 4 minus 4 is 0. All right, so my vertex is 2, 0. Let me write that in the middle of the table, 2, 0. Now I want to fill in my t-table with x values on both sides of the vertex point. So I'm going to go smaller and bigger. All right, so if I go smaller, that's 1, 0, negative 1. And if I go bigger, I get 3, 4, and 5. Now let's um, fill in half of our table, which would give us the other half of the table. And I'm going to go with the smaller values. You could go with the bigger ones if you want to. Um, but I like smaller numbers. All right, so if I plug in 1 squared <clears throat> plus 4 times 1 minus 4. Okay, again, the negative was not being squared, just the 1. So that's negative 1 plus 4 minus 4. Well, the plus 4 minus 4 cancel each other out, so I get y equals negative 1. And like I said, I have a buddy on the other side of the vertex. Now, if I plug in 0, negative 0 squared is just 0, and 4 times 0 is 0. So all of that goes away, and I have y equals negative 4. And I have a buddy on the other side. And then for the last one, I'm plugging in negative 1. Okay, so I have this negative that I bring down. Negative 1 squared becomes a positive 1. Then 4 times negative 1 <clears throat> is negative 4. And if I add all that up, negative 1 minus 4 minus 4, I get negative 9. All right, let's plot the points on the t-table. My vertex is at 2, 0. And then I have a point at 1, negative 1, and 3, negative 1. Then I have a point at 0, negative 4, and 4, negative 4. And then at negative 1, negative 9. Negative 1, negative 9. And at 5, negative 9. Okay, so let me see if I can sketch this out. All right. The parts of the parabola, the coordinates of the vertex is 2, this right here, 2, 0. The equation of the axis of symmetry, what does it start with? x equals. And it's x equals whatever the x is in the vertex, so x equals 2. The coordinate of the y-intercept, okay, this is where it's touching the y-axis, so that would be at 0, negative 4. Make sure, is that what that was? Yep, 0, negative 4. And the coordinate or coordinates of the x-intercept, well, it's only touching the x-axis at the vertex point, so that would be at 2, 0. And that's how we label the parts of a parabola.